You guys aren't drinking coffee, you're drinking fucking life. Oh, I showed up this morning and all the beer is warm on the floor. I was like, scoundrels, more like bitch. I mean, I keep just... it down over there, ladies. Jesus Christ. We told him to buy <laughs> a drift car, thus ending his career as a, as a male stripper. Yeah, definitely grab another beer because I'm gonna need that. What time is it? Make sure everybody knows what time it is. Beer 30. It's 11.30 on a Sunday morning. Two beers deep. Let's do it. <laughs> Damn right. Perfect. Hi, everybody. and Welcome to this episode of the CamCast, a very special super bonus episode. Bonus, bonus episode. Yeah. Because I'm... It's just me. Nobody else is here because Dave's in California and... Brandon has a family, and God only knows what Gavin does when he's not here. <laughs> so it's we've always wondered ourselves. Yeah. So we're up. I'm up here at seven six with the scoundrels. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a game bang situation, but um. we're we're <laughs> up here on this sketchy looking couch, and there's a camera pointed at it. So mm-hmm. you know things are just getting Brings weird. Back memories. Yeah. So uh, for the viewer at home, we've got Blaze, Anthony, Chase. Nico. Nico. Team Nico. <laughs> we so. actually, he barely earned that name just a little bit ago. <laughs> no, what? Uh, My we, name. We thanks. don't give prospects names very often. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know? He got Chase a beer. He got a name. Yeah, yeah. there we go. <laughs> so, yeah. congratulations oh, for moving up in the world. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Or moving down. Either way, <laughs> he's going on one direction down. really fast. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Whoever wants to go first, I don't know, introduce yourself and how you got into this, whatever the hell it is we're doing. Ooh. Well, Buckle up, folks. Jesus. Buckle up. <laughs> My name's Blaze Potts. Um, <laughs> That's his real name, though. Real name. Yeah. Real name. Mother yeah. given. <laughs> Mother given. <laughs> Give my God-fearing name. <laughs> uh, I got into this shit back in the day because I went to an FD event in Vegas in a huge parking lot, which mm-hmm. they don't do anymore. Nope. Because they figured Texas was a better option. Yeah, and then it's I met parking lot. I met this kid along that line. He's and, pointing uh, at Chase. Yeah, what's up, guys? <laughs> we uh, decided we were gonna start a drift team with our crappy convertibles, with our, with our crappy Mazdas. Mm. And um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much how I got into it. All right, so that was a nice segue, Chase. Yeah, Chase is uh, nice for sure. Yeah. Man, I, I remember watching, like, drift videos when I was 16, and I was just like, what the hell are these guys doing? It looks cool. And then I went to college and met this dude named Sam, and he had the dopest S14. I've oh, ever my seen bad. My I life. thought that was going another <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, that had went to college, met this <laughs> Sam, my life changed. Met, met my my college story is a little bit different than yours, oh, Barnes. Oh, exactly. So, yeah. Wait your turn. You can tell that whole story about how you met whatever mm. his name was. Uh, <laughs> But anyways, yeah, my buddy Sam had this really sweet S14, and he took me for a ride w- ride with it, and we did some streeting, and I was just like, holy shit, I want to do this for the rest of my life. Yeah. And yeah, then moved to Utah, met Mr. Potts over here. He had a pretty sweet Miata at the time, and I had a convertible RX-7. No such thing. FC, and yeah, we started streeting, and then yeah. we're Every like, day. we need to we need to call you're getting like something. super quiet right now. You're like really getting you, down memory lane oh, there, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you about to get a little misty? Or yeah, it's something? gonna get. It's gonna get. It's gonna get wild in here, boys. Get, well, it's gonna get emotional. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And now we're here. All right, sitting on this couch with all you jabronis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, my name's Anthony Barnes, and I don't even know what I'm doing right now here. <laughs> I just woke up, and these people showed up. So, well, well, that's because you invited welcome me to up the party. Here. Oh, god don't. damn it. Yeah, don't. I brought, I don't I put this that, on me. I, I didn't randomly you. show up, dude. I know they were the ones in the fridge. What's this one from? The freezer. You bitch. I restocked it though. It's good. So, how I how I got involved in all this was, I've been drifting for a bunch of long times. Mm-hmm. About four long times I've been drifting. <laughs> yeah. And uh, originally had the crew sexy nights, and we did that. Um, all those guys, we all moved away. And every one of those respective members is now in a new club. Uh-huh. This year, actually, I met up with these guys. Uh, Blaze was the only one currently driving in the Scoundrels. And so I went down. I think we just showed up at a shop one day in St. George on our way to a Vegas event. 
And then we were just hanging out, and then we tandemed a little bit, and then like a romance developed out of that, and it really just blossomed into something beautiful. <laughs> and uh, I remember the first time I looked deep into those eyes, and I just knew that I, I had to be a part of that. And uh, he threw a big, he like threw some big sticker on my car, and then he, he we did a burnout video together, no big deal. That was just, your initiation. Yeah, Let's apparently I got that's initiated how you, that's at that. you got medallion. Yeah, you got jumped, jumped in. Into this. I yeah. wasn't really aware that that's what was going on. Well, that's how it goes. Yeah. The Blaze came right up to me and said, that was your initiation. And I was yep. like, fuck, that we, was the, we, we discussed it. That was the nicest initiation I've ever received to any kind of gang activity. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, now we... We'll link, we'll link the video to that one. Yeah, yeah, link, we, we have it on video. That's, <laughs> that's rowdy. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just put a bunch of random links to their <laughs> nefarious bullshit in the yep. description of this we podcast. We definitely live up to our name most days. Yes, you but, do. But I yeah, would so. I would guess... I think I'm probably the newest member of Scoundrels. Yes, you are. And uh, yeah, we just are hitting events and doing crazy things and being retarded. And yeah, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. What's your deal, Nico? Uh, so, all this started with, and, like, I got my first car, license type thing, you know. Yeah. I got a 5-speed IS300. Which was only, there, like, five months ago. Nico, you got to <laughs> <laughs> you know. No, this is, like... Nico's the youngest member of the scoundrels. Year. He didn't even know how to drive a stick and bought an IS 5-speed. <laughs> yeah, I did. But, yeah, from there, dude, I was, I was racking up. I had the IS for, like, six months. And then I, the plan was to get an S14 with an SR, but I was, like, beating myself up on not having the cars. And this 5-speed IS popped up, so I grabbed it, got a bunch of tickets <laughs> within, like, the six months. Typical. Typical I got, scandals. like, reckless and careless and sp- some speeding tickets. Dickless, <laughs> careless, reckless. <laughs> and then I got over it, uh, got my license <laughs> suspended within, like, all that air yeah. time, you know, and then put it up for sale. Then traded for an S14 with a SR, and then that was like my first, you know, pop my cherry, I guess. Well, there you go. Oh yeah. And then you, then you started hitting events and yeah. shit. And well, which... I've been to like one event, but I do like some. I've done a decent amount of street drifting and whatnot. Yeah. S14 got wrecked a couple times. As they are wont to do. Yep, for sure. Straight yeah. and sideways, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I guess is like the youngest, freshest member. Yeah. Just got a truck. He's gonna start hitting events with us more. Gonna yeah, his car yeah. Soon. Yeah, we're gonna boy. yeah get his car caged up and stuff, and he's gonna be rolling with us very soon. Yeah, very nice. Yep. Yeah. So speaking of events, uh, events. Yeah. Where are we usually drifting in places that are not the mean streets? The mean street, dog. We don't drift the mean streets because we ain't that <laughs> tough, man. No. We're like the marshmallow crew. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> we should, we try to stay away. We it. like the nice streets, dude. <laughs> All right, streets of bountiful we, Utah. We do Ooh. like Vegas drift events, Salt City when we can make them. Um, Salt City when it doesn't rain. Yeah, when it doesn't yep. rain. Cancel again. <clears throat> hey man, that was that was an act of fucking God. I guess so. God does not want drifting at Armour. Then God hates drifting. Let's no, no it's not true. Nico's actually had God on his side a few times in some drifting That's situations. True. Well, okay, screw this line of conversation, Nico. <laughs> talk about well. your conversation with Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. We could talk about the, He's got a lot the curb him. kiss the other evening. The okay. recent one. <laughs> so, the other night, I went out street with Blaze. He got his car all street legal and whatnot. You know. <laughs> street legal? That's, yeah, street legal. He's got a plate on it. it. Yeah. <laughs> he just put a plate on it and called it good. <laughs> Whatever. And I had some fresh tires, so I was like, yo, let's go street drifting, you know. Went to, like, a local car meet. It totally, was bro. Pre- it was pretty whack. Pretty you know, whack, Stayed bro. there for, like, five minutes, yeah. bounced, went streeting. <laughs> but anyways, I was following Blaze's line. He came out wide, so I came out wide. And granted, I just put new tires on, and they were a bigger size, so I pumped them up more. Yeah. Like, a lot more. So I didn't anticipate for me going out wide and just skating. So I skated right into the curb. They're fucking warm, dude. Drag warm. my work wheels on the curb for like two feet. That boy. Hit my exhaust. Pretty good. Yeah. It's all good, though. There we go. <laughs> yeah. We're going to make a special t-shirt for There's Nico just, that says yeah. the scoundrel squid. Perfect. Squid Billy. <laughs> Nico loves to destroy new three-piece wheels. Yeah, it's like his favorite thing to do. He buys really kind expensive of. wheels, and then yeah, Nico's got expensive curves. hobbies for not having a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> he's really good at it too, though. Yeah. Like, Nobody's safe what, here. What, 
What else have you destroyed, Nico? Now I just, um, I really just want to focus this on Nico now. <laughs> destroyed my oh, wheels. His, the his wheels death. on Blaze's car. His they, axles. I used to own them. They, they looked a lot. Really nice. yeah, subframe. They're really nice. Oh yeah, he fucked his subframe pretty good. Subframe good axles. Nico likes to drive we had his to car actually with send three that off to a professional. And his axle. He did that so yeah, good. actually, yep. my car has been like getting dialed. Not the it's been trying to get bad. dialed in, yeah. but yeah, I have a lot of broken like eBay parts on my car. Yeah. Like Fame. for a while, like Typical. I was straight drifting with like three bolts in my axle. <laughs> you know, requires six, but whatever. And then it went yeah. down to one bolt in his axle. We knew it. He was we still drifting. Like, we lifted it up and we're like, "Damn, there's three bolts in that axle." <laughs> <laughs> None of this is sanctioned by it, uh, by us. We're kind of no. like, "Oh shit!" He pulls up with the subframe, the whole subframe <laughs> out of his car. He's like, "You think? Can I just put a boot on this axle?" And the axle's like. <laughs> like it's done. It's game over. And we're like, dude, no. you need a new axle. Oh, God, <laughs> it pretty much almost fell out. But that's how we know that God likes drifting and God likes yeah. Nico. He's on his side for sure. Yeah, I digress. Back to that that situation. Yes, God is fine with drifting. Yep. He just well, doesn't want it at RMR. Well, I mean, I can see that. Yeah, I, mean, I will let him take it away from RMR. Base drift God does not want drifting at RMR. Can we appeal to Base Drift God? And get us out base of no, he, Base Drift God is God of Drift for uh, RMR, but we can't. Uh, there's nothing you can do. All right, whatever. We're heathens. We, we're working on getting on a big track somewhere. Good. Yeah. There's been talks. There's about, been rumors. There's been a couple rumors. There's yeah. been some things we may or may not be involved in. Yes. Um, about a big track that big, is around here. Big track. Yeah. Big track. Yep. But that's too, it's too soon to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. Too soon to talk. Why are you trying to make us talk it's about that? Too soon We're not going to gonna talk, talk about, about everything. That. It's too no. soon to talk about that. It's too soon to talk about the AL. But it's not too soon to ask for another beer. I guess I'll just drink these warm ones. Yeah, get that warm one. Just, you know. They open the same. They taste about the same. It's Coors. Coors Lit, brother. And if anybody that Coors. works at Coors is watching or listening to this right we now... We would love a Coors sponsorship. We would, we would love a Coors sponsorship. Everybody on this couch would love a Coors sponsorship. We have, there we go. We have yep. really cool cars. We'll paint them all whatever the fuck That's we want That's not true. Paint. We don't actually all have cool cars. Silver and... Yeah, look. you're right. Anthony has a Miata. I have a Miata. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Me and Blaze, honestly, are the only ones with really cool cars. Because yeah. we have RX-7s. And everybody knows RX-7s are cooler than anything, so... Not Good really. job, guys. Hey, Especially fuck your T forty SX. Easy, Rico. Don't, yeah, when you don't get him started. Everything Mazda Bro. out of it and replace it, every piece of it with something else. True. Sorry, I forgot better. to mention. Let's okay. see. At least with Miatas, you just keep it all Miata. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Mazda. We had to rip your Maybe heart out. You don't have to pray the gay away. Yeah. It won't work. None of that. Oh. Well, for right. it's, for it's pretty gay. Unless Chevy's your Miata's running on a Link ECU. Oh. Ooh. Did I offend you, Anthony? <laughs> oh. I don't want to talk about this thing. What's the next okay. next question? <laughs> in addition to talking about cars, but I mean, <clears throat> yeah, let's we talk did about that. cars. Yeah, I like cars. Could, you know. So on top of the rain yesterday, we we broke the Miata. We did. No, no, no. We didn't. Dipshit Anthony, me, broke the fucking Miata in a very seriously <laughs> retarded way. So, little history on the old Miata. Yes. It's been around. It, it was originally built as a turbo car in like 2002 by a shop in California. Um, Nick Stuckey ended up owning the car for a stint in 2007 ish. Sold the car to a kid named Gunner, and it Gunner drove it at only just a handful of events. Yeah. And by the time I got it, it was a absolute clapped out shit box. <laughs> fucking everything wrong. It was just used. It was very yeah. used. <clears throat> it was about 17 years worth of used. Well, 15 years, I guess, worth of used. But uh, we pulled it in. And I remember when we when I bought that car and I brought it to the shop, we actually, before we even pulled it in the fucking door, we took every panel off. Every body panel. Bumper, fenders, doors. And we threw it right in the dumpster. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so when we brought the car in, um, luckily, we had a kid named Ezra that does, you know, he's done a couple things with the shop here, and he had a part out, so he brought all the new stuff over. And I'll be straight up honest with you, the I had kind of fallen out of drifting. I, I was sort of done. I mean, I had a Mustang last year, 
and I just didn't have the motivation to continue. We did pro am and slash pro event. This was before I lived in Chicago. We I did a lot of touring with drifting and stuff like I was very active, but the problem was is I was only by myself. And it's hard to do a lot of that, yeah, by yourself. So I had pretty much all but given up. I was I was game over done. And then my my girlfriend Stacy and Derek, who works here at the shop too, um, they were both like, "No, you love drifting. You should get back into drifting." And that's how I ended up with the Miata originally. And we were kind of like, "Yeah, fuck it. We'll, you know, I'll drive the Miata. It'll be cool. I won't go crazy on it." And then that just fuck throw that out the window because that didn't happen. Next thing you know, we were doing um, diff upgrades. We were doing clutches. Uh, basically dialed it back in mechanically um, and then styled it up with you now I've got Garson Ryugi's on it it's painted it's all body kitted and aero and it's pretty hot boy it's, it's, it's a styling it's a hot, little yeah, Miata it's, it's a good looking it's car one of, one of the it's, I mean as good looking as a Miata can be really yeah, yeah. Um, it's pretty sweet but yeah to, we were trying to go to the event last night and we're still using the, the Link standalone ECU from 2002 mm-hmm. And it uses a, I guess it's called like an FM, it's an FM signaled uh, air intake temperature sensor. What? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's fucking old school shit. <laughs> and uh, we broke that sensor, and there's none left in existence And that. So basically that whole... Unless somebody out there has one laying around. Yeah, yeah anybody <laughs> listening or watching, if they have one of those FM sensors... We sen- need one really bad. That'd be yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> Basically a thousand dollar fuck up though, because we're gonna have to restand one the whole car and retune it and everything, yeah. which it was kind of needed to happen anyway. It's just kind of a bunk deal that it happened when it did. Yeah, yeah. Just gonna bump it up the timeline a little bit now. <laughs> Whatever time for an upgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just throwing thousand dollar bills around, you know. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Typical drift stuff. Exactly. That's how it but, goes. I mean, as far as the car's setup is, it's a uh, one point. It's a mildly built one point six liter. Um, turbocharged, obviously, running about 14 pounds. You can see it in our videos. I had driving flip-flops. Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah. uh, Always. No sweatpants. No, I had... Which is a little disappointing. I, you know what's really weird is I, I hate wearing sweatpants outside of the house. You won't catch me doing that. Um, <laughs> I'm usually in some kind of, like, form of, like, a dress slack or hipster pant and uh, some flip-flops. But, uh... He's pretty hipster. I actually can't even floor the car. Which is another funny thing. If you watch those videos, you'll see that I can't actually put the pedal all the way down. Yeah. His legs aren't if, long enough. If you it. haven't seen the flip flop foot cam video, you should go watch it. But I'm yeah. a, his his I'm feet just aren't a long enough. Guy, and he yeah. wears flip flops, and it's pretty funny. So now we'll probably go through our last little section with the car now and, and fully get it like running well. Yeah. yeah. And we're gonna scoot his seat up yep. so he can full throttle or put a pillow behind him. <laughs> yeah. One of the two. Or uh, that's phone actually phone that's actually what Gunner used. Yeah. Pillow? <laughs> that pillow. Yeah. He took the pillow nice. when I got the car though. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said, "This is Josh Sweeten's you, pillow. I need to give this back to him." I'm like, <laughs> "Son of a bitch." <laughs> it's all like fucking. It's just like a fucked up pillow, and I'm like, "Blown out sick? for being in a yeah." <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious right now, dude? Oh, but yeah, that's kind of the origins and and status of the uh, Miata right now. The long checkered history. Is that? Oh, it's yeah. I mean, if, yeah. it's it's just a testament to whatever. I don't even know the name of that shop that built it down in California, but holy fuck, man! Yeah, that thing's been been shredding tires for. I can tell a you right time. now that I change the oil every event, and I bet that's the best maintenance that that car has ever had in the many many years that it was owned by previous owners. Yeah, that thing got thrashed. I have. Well, it was Nick. So it's kind of like what Nico was talking about earlier. It was Nick Stuckey's first, like, yeah, that was real his. drift machine. Yeah. yeah. So you can imagine, like, the the unengineering that we had to do, I guess. <laughs> yes. To kind of get it going. I mean, but it's so far still been the most reliable drift car in the state, I think. Yeah. Or ever. Yeah, I, yeah probably. you could probably say that. For yeah. sure. Yeah, I think it's solid. Yeah. Still shits and gets, Bullshit, unless you got yeah. a dipshit. Shut like up, Nico. <laughs> breaks that, yeah, that yeah. FM thing. Breaks Whoops. the last working transmitter in existence. Yeah. yeah. You know. That'll send you down the fuck road pretty quick, but, uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much the stories on the Miata. Yeah. Blazes cars. I would say, should we do like some cool vehicle breakdowns? <laughs> I mean, might as well. You My car, I, I built all the way up from the ground I bought it for 700 bucks from some kid in St. George that was trying to build like a Fast and the Furious sound car I think <laughs> dope it was awesome like, there was so much dynamite in that thing it was 
<laughs> sad. There's dynamat on top of dynamat. But I didn't, I ripped it all the way down to the frame because I didn't know any better. I should have just uh, got it running and drove it because yeah. seat time is the best thing that you can do. Yes, it is. So after spending tons and tons of money trying to get my chassis ready to go be a drift car, I got frustrated and finally just bought a Miata <laughs> and uh, bought coilovers for it and welded the diff and I rallied that thing for like a year solid. I daily drove it every day and streeted every day and took it to events. And I drove it up to a Salt Lake event once and that was wild. beat the crap out of it and drove it home. <laughs> Um, That's really just like a definitive. Miatas are sweet. Miatas yeah. are the best. They get the, you didn't know. Yeah. And, uh, Once you get best. after a Miata, and then you move on the to shorter, FCs. Yeah, the shorter like <laughs> wheelbase was kind of cool too because it it helps you learn how to throw the wheel around more. Yeah. And then when you get in a bigger car, it's a lot easier actually. Mm-hmm. Um, but I ended up selling that car and I bought a 240 with an SR in it for a really really good price and. Uh, <laughs> I took it home and we got it running really easily. It was like a one wire, like a ground to the engine. Hmm. And I ended up blowing that up. Because it was an SR. Because it was an SR. So and I was running like 14 pounds of boost like an idiot. <laughs> like all SR owners do. <laughs> and, uh, so I spent all this money rebuilding that car. Because I was like, that was the funnest shit I've ever had in my life, you know? Yep. Yeah. And um, like 1800 bucks later, rebuild the bottom end and redid the top end and put it all together got it running again and then I bought a new manifold and a new turbo and <laughs> the wastegate was set at 14 PSI <laughs> and blew that motor up too Boom! <laughs> melted some molly pistons Ooh. <laughs> the block was okay I just the pistons were I just chewed them up yeah. anyways I ended up selling that and then building my wagon oh, I forgot about the wagon and then that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but we <laughs> to loop back around, I ended up buying a a missile car off a of chase because he moved to Denver. I bought yep. it off him for like eight hundred bucks. It was a good deal. Didn't yeah. have a title because because you don't need that with drift cars. Some, some person out in California still has it in a desk somewhere. Oh, some person. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah. So we rallied that thing for a while and got it running pretty good and. I ended up crashing it into another car in he, Vegas. No, he <laughs> totaled it. He crashed, I crashed, crashed it. the shit out of it. I he wrinkled the He crashed. The, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the engine work. bay came into the cab <laughs> a little and, bit. And to rewind, <laughs> rewind back a little bit, we had bought another car for like 100 bucks. Oh, yeah. That shell was, was just all a cut. shell that had the front cut off. And then we sold it to Nico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hence he, how Nico got involved with all <laughs> This is shit. how Nico got involved with all of us, basically. <laughs> And he basically went and, like, put it in storage for a while. Yeah. And, like, had all these plans. But he also had his S14, so he was preoccupied with other Nissan problems. Yeah. <laughs> and getting, like, every fucking ticket known to man. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> and so uh, I wreck my car in Vegas and go back home, and first thing I do is call Nico. I'm like, hey, you want to sell me that car back? <laughs> so I go and get the red car, bring it home, and we took everything out of the wrecked car and put it in the red car. I tubed the front. That was the first one I ever tubed. You gotta remember though why the red the red car is very famous. It is very famous. Yes. The, the red the red two two forty coupe. This, 240 this 40 is the red two forty coupe that we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. the red we'll car get, that I ran last season. Yeah. Yes. That glorious thing. We built it in like two weeks. Yeah. With all the parts of the red car. Yep. And uh, missile car parts on the other <laughs> And it was just dialed. We ran like Twelve events with that thing, yep. and it was solid as hell. I ended up selling it to a kid up in Salt Lake. Yep. What's the name? Names. After name you, names. After you it took first Mr. place, Mr. Downey. Yeah, Mr. Tyler Downey. Dipshit Downey. <laughs> Didn't he try to put like a BMW motor in it? He actually yeah. succeeded. Well, I, from what I heard, he he clutch kicked in first gear in the donut box at like six grand. What? I don't know why you do that. Okay. There's but a lot of things he that Tyler threw. Downey he threw does. the rod out the side of the block. Okay. That explains why that thing came up for sale again. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, put he the put the, the Beamer off. motor in it or something. That car went on a whole nother path. Yeah, I think yeah. he sold it eventually to yeah, he somebody he with, with the Beamer engine in it. I, I yeah, think, no, the guy that bought I think it. Brandon had it. actually has it now. Hmm. Oh, really? Um, 
I would love to buy that car back from whoever the fuck has yeah. it. Yeah, because it's super nostalgic. I just want the dash. Really. I want the whole thing, dude. I think the dash got fucked too. Whoever's got that car, if you want but, to sell uh, it, hit us yeah. up. I think I'm pretty sure Brandon has it. But um, you should talk to him. Anyways, I took the money that I sold that car and I went straight to Vegas and bought a Camaro. <laughs> with Best an LS and a ever. T56 because I couldn't find a T56 and I was still building the RX-7 that I started forever ago and like slowly been acquiring parts and literally I had everything but a transmission So and so I went and bought a Camaro for a transmission and because uh, cheap T56s are yeah probably cheaper than pretty, pretty a pricey pretty, pretty much yeah. you can't find yeah. them anyway no and so I, I took it home and like literally we we did like a burnout and then ripped <laughs> yeah. it apart threw it in my car and I rallied that engine for like probably six events yeah. or like five months or something and um, I just blew it up at LS Fest I think I boiled the oil or something no. I wasn't paying attention we were running we were hot lapping on the big track and it was just chaos Yeah, way too much fun to pay attention to what your <laughs> motor's doing <laughs> and uh, put the other engine in that I had and my car's been pretty solid other than the rear end issues that I was dealing with, but... You got that all sorted out. Yeah, yeah. now I got a Ford 88 in it. It's pretty stout. Yeah. America. It gets rowdy. Heck yeah. Right. And then Chase's car. It my car's... in the works. My car's a whole other different story. I yeah. started... I started drifting in, in S13s just because, I don't know, that's what was available back then, and I had like five of them. I had... My first one had a single cam, and then I had one with a dual cam KA, and then I had one with a CA18, which was awesome, but it got stolen. And then I got one with an SR, and, or no, well, I got another one with a single cam, and did a, we did an SR swap. My, my buddy Sean helped me out. That was, like, before I knew anything about cars. And sold that one, bought a couple motorcycles, got into a lot of trouble on motorcycles, <laughs> so I was like, I should get back into drifting. Uh, so I bought this sweet convertible FC RX-7 off of our buddy Chuck, <coughs> who lives near us. <coughs> well, kind of near us. Um, had the rotary in it. Chuck's owned every FC in Utah. Pretty it's much. Something. He's the FC daddy of Utah, I would say. He buys them all. Um, FC daddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... Well, is that tire smoke getting back to you now? Maybe a Probably. little bit. Oh, yeah. We did a burnout earlier, and the shop is full of smoke. Well, yeah. we blazed it a burnout earlier. We were just around. The pumpkin, I lit Bountiful the on fire. <coughs> My car doesn't run. But anyway, uh, <laughs> went, hit, hit some events with the Rotary Vert for a while. It was cool. Um, then I took it down to California and had the had like the Rotary rebuilt um, and ran that thing for like I think three or f- four years. And then it, I think it popped a coolant seal. I don't. I actually don't know what happened. It just started. It, it just, was, it was what, fucked. It just did yeah. what a rotary does. Yeah. So working. I was like, well, I could sell this and get something else, but I'm it kinda, actually happened at RMR. It did. Yeah. Ha- oh, it happened at RMR. We are cursed, uh, man. Dude, like he wow. was trying to drift, and actually, he was the fastest around the track. All the time. <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> terrible. And his car was it had, like, strong no and fucking smoke out the back. Dude. Uh, it was terrible. But um, <laughs> anyway, ripped the rotary out, like. Was it like a week before I moved or something? Yeah. I, I can't know. remember. But anyway, ripped the rotary out. I uh, decided I was originally going to go LS like Mr. Potts over here, but it's, it's, I don't know, the LS stuff is just so expensive, and I found a really sweet deal on a uh, on a 5.0 out of a Fox Body Mustang. So I was like, uh, shut up. Uh, so, you know, we threw that in there. It's got some cool parts on it, Cobra intake and, I don't know, a bunch of other junk. And then he made me weld a roof on it. Oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> about that. So, I, I love you convertibles. Just built a fox body. I love yeah. convertibles, but <laughs> it I does really look like a like, fox body coupe. It's really. the same tail. It's like a Japanese <laughs> fox body of an American <laughs> engine. But congratulations, you went about the hard way to get yourself a fox. Body. But no, we uh, <laughs> we went to independent of your fox body. Here's how the coupe <laughs> started. We went to import face off in Vegas <laughs> to drift, and there was a FC in the car show over there owned by Joel Strange Angle follow him on Instagram because he's a cool dude but uh, he did it first he was like I think one of the first guys to ever do the coupe conversion on an RX-7 and I saw it and I was like oh my god that is so cool and he's like do it man do it you know it's not that bad and which it's honestly it sucks to do uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is my second roof the first one I just kind of eyeballed when I cut it and it was all <laughs> terrible 
So the second one I did, you know, I actually took some measurements, and it's much better. But um, we want it to look good, not janky. It's, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm a fan. Like it's a lot of work, but yeah, they, they look really clearly. cool. There's another guy in California that has one. Uh, I forget his name, Amani, I think. But uh, his is pretty sweet. He's got a 2J in it. Um, but, yeah, they're just cool. So it's getting close. I think really the only thing left to do is, like, finish some wiring stuff and wrap it or paint it or whatever. And uh, I need tires. And I need one, a single RPF1 in 18 by 9.5. <laughs> Five by one fourteen. If anybody has it, they're really hard to find. If you're just trying to buy one, <laughs> everybody has sets and yeah. you know. But sets I don't know. I guess I could get like a set. Usually but, sold. Yeah. But well, we yeah. should just buy a, a pair and then let Nico drive the car and then he'll just squid the other one and yeah. then we'll be good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I think I'm pretty you, famous for breaking Hankies. Huh? Yeah. I've broken RPF ones. I've broken like two RPF ones. Like really broken them. But they're great wheels. I love them. Hey, Enki, what's up? Is that how you say it? Enki? Enki? How is it? Inky. I don't think Inky? you need to worry about it. Yeah. All right. Hey, Enki, I love your wheels. <laughs> and I need one. One of them. Just, just need one. Just one. <laughs> I got the other ones. But, yeah. There you go. That's There's the, the histories. Of, there we go. The cars. The questionable checkered histories. Yep. Oh, yeah. Everything's very levels of success. Mm-hmm. So what about the future? We're trying to hit. We're trying to go to more bash events. I think 2018 we're gonna try and hit a lot of the bash the events. The bash. Yeah, nice. they're fun. You know? I actually got a skyline coming out for that. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm building the skyline right we now. Have, for we have a, have an R32 in the works, which is nice. sweet. No more dealing with the Miata, you know. Yeah. After we fix it and take it to a bunch more events this year. Yeah. 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 No, we're not actually even going to sell it when we're done. We're just going to put it in the back of the shop. And leave it's it there. Gonna, it's going to be like so many other drift cars. Just, we're going we're gonna to put it. Stop people. seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. going to be running, driving now, so yeah. it's going to be a little different because it'll just sit in the back as a complete car. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna park it next to the old S13 coupe that we buy back from whoever has it. Yeah. Just start the Scoundrels Heritage Collection. Yeah. Just slowly. We're just, we're just, just open a car museum. Well, <laughs> yeah. I need to go find my S14. No. Yeah, was, yeah, that thing's wrecked. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Didn't somebody wrap it around a pole or something? Yeah, it's pretty bad. It Actually. turned it turned it into a hatchback essentially. <laughs> well, that's fun. Oh yeah, it's pretty <laughs> impressive actually. It's yeah. like the whole back of the car was gone. Yeah. How do you do the voodoo that you do? Yeah. How? Yeah. But yeah, just people will do what they do, and that's just how it goes. Um, how long do we keep talking on this thing? I don't know. Usually we try to do like an hour. Oh, All no. Right. Yeah, ask yeah, us yeah. some more questions. Ask yeah. questionable questions. Well, speaking of... Yeah, we can do I some think for the future we're going to try to hit um, Hot August Nights next. Yep, yeah, we're like definitely gonna going to be at Hot August Nights. I'm stoked. It's going to be Whoa. sweet. Chase Woo. is stoked. I am stoked. Um, That's going to be a fun event. Like it. Oh. There's talk of going down to No Coast. Yeah, yeah we should that. do that. I'm trying yeah. to get down to No Coast. Yeah. So. And then some kind of a secret thing going on in September, the end yeah. of September. Super secret. There's a secret secret, secret thing There's that we're working also, on for September. We're going to Oregon for Bash the Future Six? No. Uh, yeah, we are. Well, well, yeah, well that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking this year, dog. It's beside the point. Okay. Yeah. What else uh, are we, oh for the what were they the calling? Or- it? Oregon, Oregon Raceway. Raceway. Yeah, yeah that, they're, that they're gonna actually let us do drifting on their track too this year, so that'll be cool. Which that track looks fun. That track's way fast, way cool. That's nice. a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, we have a question in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Which of you? Oh, <clears throat> my voice. Sorry. You good? Which of you have a, a drag car and a drag car? Like, like do you guys all, have your all of them. Car? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Can mine's just them? mine's just broken right now. Oh. Yeah. It's not ready. There you go. Mine's yeah. broken yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So what do you got so, next? I don't know. Didn't you guys just get back from somewhere? Or at least you two? Yeah, yeah we yeah. got back from Oregon. Yeah, we, went to, we went to Bash. Bash <laughs> to the Future 5. That was a pretty awesome event. I'd we never, lost. I've never even been to Oregon. Let's we, talk about that. We lost. We lost. Yeah, let's talk we got, about you We got yeah, like first fourth, thing. Fourth with, place or something? Yeah, we got fourth place. We lost by one point. Oh. Yep. Because this guy, Manji the Straight. That's not actually why we lost. Oh, it's, it's not? Nope. Oh. They, just, they actually didn't care about the manji. Oh. They looked down upon the flip flops. No, no, they lost because I went off roading. Because I. Oh, that's right. I because I have an explored. If I tend to decide to go <laughs> yeah. off road sometimes. Yeah, just that to might test have been. I forgot. Actually, I think we lost because they were like 
dudes that were all about squid in their car. There yeah. was like this group of seven dudes that were tandeming. And granted, they were getting pretty close. They were getting down. But their cars were so fucked. I mean, like, God, just mm. awful fucking cars. They were like... Just haggard bullshit. Yeah, like that S14 we described, there was an E36 that did the same thing. <coughs> oh, like, good. their doors were caved. There was one 240 there that was caved on both sides. I mean, like, he, that guy couldn't open the door on either side. He had to, like, climb out the windows. Wow. But I those the, I mean, the cars didn't show up like that either. Like, a lot of these dudes just, just squitted it up. Just squitted it up right there, other. yeah, <laughs> at the event. It was super wet. Yeah. But In the one day, yeah, it was it, pretty wet. I think they just need to focus more on, like, Not following true. lines out there. Everybody's so worried about proximity. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know. And slow. It's hot, man. It's so many people are driving I feel slow. like it's, it's cool yeah. to watch teams like uh, that are more synchronized rather than just like s- trying to slam into each other's doors, you know? Like, both are know. exciting. I mean... It's both. It's it's just different style. Like, everybody has a different style, but it's it's cool, man. I, we, I think... To I me, think like, the, Team Tandem is like... The future. The future, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Chase got deep right there. Dude, it is. It team is. Tandem's definitely the future. But, like, I like to see, uh, like, similar... Proximity, you know what I mean. Following yeah. the same yeah. line, even gap, even fast, gap, good, angle. cool style. Well, just yep. like those old videos you see in like the old Japanese drift videos, just yeah, like that's ten like Corollas, ten cars yeah. doing yeah. the exact Which same is line, exactly exact same distance. Yeah. yeah, the way we approached that competition was that yeah. same way. I mean, yeah. we talked about how we were going to go out and how we wanted to drive more. Like, let's just keep keep the same distance from each other. Let's drive Follow it fast. The same lines. Then let's do all the same things. Yeah. We nailed it. We fucking Which, executed it so well. I mean, like, I don't want to talk down on us or anything. We went out there. There was 19 teams, 135 drivers, and we took fourth place. Yeah. It's pretty good. Not bad. Good job. For, but, yeah, for that's being our really our first. And we had David Curtis with us, yeah. following us. So, I mean, I had driven with Blaze, like, a couple too. times before. But you're talking about a real, like, three. We got, what? We drove one lap. We got I, one practice one lap. One practice lap that I spun. Mm, I yeah. fucking full spun out on it. Yep. And uh, then we ended up coming back and just, like, completely killing it. It was awesome. It was a cool... It was a fun event, man. Nice. I got a lot of really good footage. I got this really crazy rainbow shot that's, like, Destiny. <laughs> like, well, it wasn't even... It was... Uh, who was leading? Well, it was, it was weird. It, it was, was it, didn't, it worked out kind of funny because I was just sitting there, like, in line by myself. Because I uh, dipped off and went to the <laughs> line. He went somewhere. I was and, out. Um, Wicknick and Stucky were pulling out on track, and like I seen the rainbow, and I was like, "Oh, this is like magical!" And I just like chased them out onto the track, <laughs> and it ended up working out pretty good because Chase was just like in the right fucking spot. What's crazy to me about it is the, if you look at the picture or on the video, like the rainbow, the colors of the rainbow match the cars. So like Wicknick has that like teal S13, Stucky was yellow and you're orange, and the colors on the rainbow are like teal, yellow, and then orange. It's nuts. I don't cool. understand how that happened, but it's pretty cool. God. Because God likes drifting. Because he loves yeah, drifting. Right back so. to that. I guess Full so. circle. But yeah, Bash is a magical little place. It is. We'll definitely it's have to go next year again. For sure. It was fun. And I like that. I like that you brought up that the old style driving was like that. Because that's really what yeah. we're, we're aiming for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like everybody seems to want to like try to like, oh, we're going to do it. You know, like they used to do in Japan. And then it's, you know... And then nobody no line, does. No proximity, yeah. just smashing into each other. Yeah. Well, they're missiles. Well, they would fix their yeah. missiles. Yeah, we... That's we, the thing. That's what we grew up watching. Yeah. That's what we want to emulate. And so that's kind of what... We came into that competition. And I think that's what really stood out. Yeah. Is mm-hmm. that we were... Like, we... I watched footage of our... Of our... Our runs, and I was... I was pretty impressed myself, honestly. Because it just... It worked out really, really well. Yeah. Nice. The driving mesh mesh together for sure you guys it was aggressive it was fast it was you know the proximity was still there yeah. I'd, I'd yeah. say bash was one of the one of the most fun drift events i've ever been to yeah you know i've, I've been a the lot. track was they, the track was small that was my only yeah, yeah. which yeah, is weird fun. for a guy in a miata to say that but actually like i like i like the miata on on wide open stuff because we're going the miata is good at, at one thing and that's just hauling ass I don't really have a lot of angle. I don't really have a lot of modifications to front suspension. But if we go fast, you can make it look all right. You know what I mean? The car yeah. while drifting moves real fast for sure. Yeah. It, yeah, it goes a lot faster sideways than it does in a straight line, it seems like. So that was the only one thing that we... Uh, I didn't have any kind of e-brake, so... Yeah. <laughs> 
We had to kind of negotiate that, Hell which yeah. is why we ended up manjiing. There, there was a spot we weren't supposed to manji, but we did anyway. Yeah. Just because yeah. I couldn't off throttle and scrub speed, we just had to go, just yeah. go, go, go. Yeah. yeah, it was fun. Very cool. The Vegas events are really fun too. Yeah. They like have a lot of they have a lot of good drivers out there. Yeah, that's a lot of the footage I see. Yeah, know, that I would say yeah. I'd say that's the that's our main track that we go to yeah. is the Vegas Vegas. Yeah, trip. I, tr- I always try to hit all the Vegas events. I mean, it's it's easy for me to tow my car down there. They're they're like super well organized. Nick Dazon yeah. is like freaking a rock star at that yeah. stuff. And same with Southwest Drift too. Southwest Drift is really really cool. Super well organized. Yeah. But yeah, it's. It looks like. It's cool being so close to Vegas because Vegas is only like an hour and a half, two hours from from where all our cars are. So the scene's really big out there too. They're yeah, def- it's progressing really fast. Yeah, they're yeah. definitely holding it down. They got a bunch of sick cars, good drivers too. Yep. Yep. I think we're kind of getting there though. Honestly, uh, yeah, Salt yeah. Lake is. Yeah. Salt Lake's definitely. We're emerging. Yeah. Is it coming out? We're yeah. Up there. If we can stop breaking our cars and stuff at RMR, that'd be we'll nice. Be, uh, we'll be but good. But RMR, the cursed RMR. I know. Gosh. It's funny, like a little like the Honda Drag Racers. They'll be like running nines up here at RMR, and they'll go to Vegas, and they'll just start breaking everything yeah, because see? the drag strip has all the grip. Yeah. Yep. So it's just like you guys are the opposite. Yep. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's not. Or maybe we to just do. all need to get S13s with KAs because apparently the RMR that was the favors. Jam. Yeah. You yeah. Got first in that thing, like that was, it's just. That was you know. the business. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta throttle down and never lift. Like, drive like throw it. I had to like short shift into third and throw it into the bank and that thing, and it was <laughs> it was scary. I wish I could do cool things. I'm not very good at but it. He has I was excited to try to go hit it in my car yesterday, but we showed up to the track and it was just pouring it was rain. Dumping rain. Yes, and they, it was. They canceled it. And, you know um, about that. I just I wasn't gonna pay was hundred bucks to go sit in the in a parking lot and wait for it to not yeah. rain. Like, yeah. Which, yeah, that ended up being real weird. I, so, it did get a little awkward. We came back here and drank beer. Yeah. Yep. Because that's what we do best. And did burnouts. Yeah. We're super good at drinking beer. I and doing drink, burnouts. I don't yeah. drink beer. beer. Beer and burnout. We need to make a sticker that says beer Nico's, and burnout. Nico's only 12. For sure. So he yeah. doesn't drink beer. Yeah. yeah. But it's weird. There was like seven beers next to him that disappeared. <laughs> I mean, there was more than that. Maybe not. He's just, you know, maybe you he guys force him out. I think. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's he, trying to look cool. No, he just doesn't homies. want. He just doesn't want us to have. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like having like. I'm the parent around here. You know. <laughs> no, just, that is not, not true. really. It's, no. it's like he's the kid with like three abusive stepdads. <laughs> That's <laughs> more true. And so he goes and like tries to sabotage our beer drinking because he knows that sticks like, our smokes behind our tires so we back over them when we leave. Yeah. <laughs> He really thinks he's fucking funny, but... Right now he's drinking a, a vanilla bean, a large vanilla bean frappuccino. Yep. Chase I mean, didn't even finish his. No, Chase didn't I, finish I his. gave it up for the beer. Nico, you should drink the rest of that, though. Uh, mine, you it's know gonna, what's it's funny? Is gonna Chase get, like, is trying nasty. to talk smack on sweet little Nico, but he's the one I love that Nico. invented this he's bullshit great. drink. Yeah. I, I, I did introduce Nico to the uh, vanilla bean frappuccino, because that's like... That's the only thing I can drink at Starbucks if I don't just drink like a, a coffee. I so. just drink like normal. It coffee. tastes good. It's yeah. like ice cream, yeah. basically. It's pretty good. I don't do coffee. Anymore. Chase does have extravagant <sighs> um, order placing stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, I like the finer things in life. Order some weird shit. Which is why my car's not done. <laughs> I, I think not that really. might be two different things. His car's not he done says, I won't I'm work on into it. the finer <laughs> things in life. Drives a basic fox body. Mm. A Japanese fox body. Wanted a fox body so bad he made an RX-7 hey, a fox body. Fox body's not it's that a bad. wide body fox body. It is a wide body. It's a foxy fox, fox body. body. Fo- Dude, that should be her name. It's like foxy. The brown F-A-U-X or some body. Faux body. Faux body. Foxy brown. I like that. Ask us more questions. What do you want to know? <laughs> I really just want to focus on Chase going the long way around to build a fox body. Because <laughs> all of the right, stuff right. that you've done, you could have literally done easier with a fox body. Man, if you know I if I could do it again, dead horse. <laughs> if I could do it again, I would just get an S13 and just because I'm back probably to a fox body. Yeah, yeah fuck I, up worse. Is I'm what probably, saying. <laughs> if I could do it again, I'd make my life you worse. Hear, you guys hear that out there? Don't build RX. Don't build no. RX sevens. <laughs> dumb and terrible. Don't build S thirteens. Yeah. Just they're also dumb and just terrible. Give S13s us all the RX sevens and let us build them because okay. they suck. We suck. Get S thirteens. They're they're easy and 
the, the, the parts the development is there. Uh, nobody makes anything for RX-7s. Nobody makes body kits. Nobody makes... Well, they're starting <laughs> to make angle shit. <laughs> nobody makes... Like, any... Uh, what else is there? Diff but shit. they do make you a crybaby bitch. They do. <laughs> yep. Hey, shout out to... Uh, what? Uh, what's the, the guys we've been trying to... Doof. Paco. Please make some FC body kits. Paco Sinbad? Make a Miata one, too. Yeah. While you're at it. Because... Man, shit. What are I'd you doing, like Paco? God damn it, Paco. Paco, we can't we got, even... We got FCs for days. We're out here trying to style days. on fools with eBay we kids, can't, man. Yeah, you can't we let can't that style happen. on no. people with extreme dimensions. I'm sorry, extreme dimensions, but, you know. I'm not it sorry. It is what it is. You guys need to fix your mold. Super doof. <laughs> that super doof Fuck. shit is yeah. awesome. Come on, Paco. Need some doof in my but life. But we don't all drive basic 240s, except Nico. Paco, My 240 is not too basic. It's basic as fuck. It's not. Okay. Just accept anyway. that it's basic. <laughs> it runs, it drives. But hey, I'm not hating though, because that's shit works. Yeah. yeah that's it what I'm runs, saying. If I could do it again, drive, I, would, I would just get like a 13 <laughs> coupe and yeah, well. keep it KA and angle the hell out of it and have a blast. Which is what my buddy Nate in Colorado is doing. Except his car's in limp mode now, and we can't figure out why. But oh, there you go. That <laughs> shit happens. You know, happens to the best of us. But, but um, no. I don't know. My car's got crazy angle stuff on it. I've never driven a V8 RX-7 before, so it'll be a it'll be a it'll be a good time. I think when it's all done. Yeah, you need a fucking hurry. <laughs> hey, yep. I, I know. remember like a few months ago, my uh, my car was all taken apart, and Chase brought his car down. I was like, all right, well, like who's gonna have their car down first? And my car's been down for like a couple months now. <laughs> no. so we're trying all to say. we did to Nico's car is put a running SR in it. It was like <laughs> six bolts. Fair, so. fair enough. Fair enough. Great. My, my, my car's a little, Chase's a little car bit more been developed. done like 17 years ago. It should have. <laughs> the real reason why Chase's car isn't done is because I need to finish the wiring, and Ooh. I'm working on my car all the fucking time Blaze because pot. it's an R7. That's, yeah. That's not true. The, the reason my car's not done is because I moved to Denver and then towed my car down there, and I got to fly back to St. George to work on it. Mm. But because he's fucking just never mind. We won't even go in. <laughs> not do that. That shit's weird. We can get weird if we want to. But Chase's well, car's close. Weird. It cranks. I uh, just don't have spark right now. Yep. I thought we were going to talk Ford shit about people. Dumb. I mean, we can. Who do you have problems with? What are we going to talk shit? I, mean, I got to Paco for a couple of minutes. I got to go drain the... Sweet, sweet. Go ahead. Oh, you're just going to roll out, huh? All right, fuck it. Get Whatever. after it, bud. I got to you might grab me bring one of them. Bring yeah. I will. Freezer yeah. beers. I will bring you a beer. You want a beer? Oh, are you switching to beer? It's time to switch to beer. Yeah. Doof, make some FC stuff. Yeah. We'll buy a bunch. Yeah, Paco Sinbad, man. Get after it. Look it up. Um, no, I don't think we have. We don't have beef with anybody. All right. Nah. Would you like to have some? Because this is a venue in which you can create it. Uh, we are <laughs> no beef to create even. All right, cool. we suck. I got beef. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> just kidding. Nico's it. got it. What's up, dude? You got Nico. I'm just joking. I'm no, he's not. Beef. Come on, dude, rip it out. Bro. <laughs> it's, this is a no good one, This is a safe place. There's no yeah. beef. Nobody, no one is too big or too small. Nobody's too big or too small. In this, in this modern age, I'm really pissed media. off at Link right now and their bullshit old style ECUs well, that they developed fucking 15 years ago. I still fucking hate you guys because that was. What the fuck is an FM intake transmitter sensor? This is the most bullshit thing I've ever heard. It's true. It is pretty ridiculous. But you got to be really true. fucking dumb to break it too, which so. I did. But it's your fault, <laughs> and I don't. I don't like this. No, you should not. And I don't like RMR. Yeah, I'm mad at RMR. Yep. Just let us drift in the rain. We're not fucking pussies. We're not. Drag racing, not going. Who cares? Keep the lights on, man. Come yeah, on. That would have been nice. Another but game. we do love um, <clears throat> you. UMC. What? Yeah, UMC. We like UMC. Yep. Um, that's a good place and good people and a, and a positive learning environment. Mm-hmm. Um. We like take luck most days. Yeah. When they're not like, I think we're all on that same page. Oh, you like them too? <coughs> yeah. Oh, I like them, dude. We like closet like him, man. Come on. <laughs> now you're making it weird. No, I don't Whatever. even like those guys. Mountains right. are blue though. Oh Jesus. <coughs> they're blue. Huh? Um. <laughs> not blue. Yeah. Who, who else do you like? That we're just kind of. Who, who do we else like? Do we like? I like. Big butts. And I cannot lie. Yep. Um, Big butts. No, I don't know. What are we, what are we talking like about? Like I walked in. I like cold oh. beers. Why don't we give a shout out yeah. to Esteban? We like yeah. Esteban. 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 
Can we uh, yeah. can we talk about that for a second, real quick? So talk about Esteban. Yeah, he just came down and actually he's a. Get him in there. So he, yeah, he. Come, yeah, why don't you come, come sit down? Come, over come here. on, man. Come yeah. have a chat with yeah. us. Yeah. Just hop on. So quick backstory. Yes, we are. Esteban is Fuck. is one of my really good buddies from like back in Texas when I was growing up. Uh-huh. I've known him since like I think like sixth grade or something. Super dope artist. Um, he's been drawing and doodling and all that junk since probably before I knew him, but he kind of stuck with it, and he's super talented now. I guess yeah. Wall's been talented. Like, super but. talented. Like, talented yeah. enough that he actually, uh, the walls in the shop out there, those murals are, he did those all that stuff, mm-hmm. the tagging in the mural and stuff, that's all it was, him. It was kind of just random, like, he came out to Denver for a week because he wanted to, like, do some art gallery stuff over there because the art scene in Denver is really popping, so... Mm-hmm. Um, but I was obligated to come down I here. Drain the vein. So, uh, <laughs> so he rolled with me down here and started talking to these guys. And yeah, he's never like I don't. Have you ever done like a giant mural before? Or was no, this like that the was first my, one? Well, I've done smaller ones, like four by eight feet. Okay, and it's just about the size of a piece of sheetrock. Okay, but something that big out there. Mm. Holy fuck, man! That was like first time. <laughs> that was. I should have fucking drop some chalk lines down to kind of scale it but I was like ah fuck it I just want to get it done Whatever. it looks just good started off with a big pink bomb and then oh shit that thing is big so <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to scale with that so it came out pretty rad for that size of scale I had to get on that fucking scaffold in him yeah he was terrified of heights so it's kind of like <laughs> well, anything janky like a like a scaffolding yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Like, I'm like oh fuck here we go okay. so, and all my lines are fucking all shit it up and everything but it came out good I, I was touching yeah. it up and everything and then that was the first mural the pink bomb with Rooney and then uh, next morning I just was like fuck I need to had, get the scoundrel one done so it had a bunch of leftover paint yeah too. yeah I got the just freehanded the scoundrels one and just kind of did a real nice sherbet with ink drips so I think that was pretty cool I really liked it Buddy. Yeah, it'll it'll probably be the first of many. Yeah, right. it'll probably yeah. Apparently, Anthony says that's my wall. So yeah, so I'm gonna fuck it up as much as possible when I come up to <laughs> Salt Lake as much as possible. But yeah, I'm really excited to work with the guys. Cool. We have some we have some new slaps coming out. Yeah, uh, doing it for Anthony. It's kind of the same. You probably guys will see it. That mural. It's the Rooney with the pink bomb, but I built a quick character for them so they can use that all the time when they need a quick slap or a t-shirt just call me up and then they'll get it done for them yeah very cool yep. I just think it's cool like I don't know the whole idea with scoundrels is like a, a group of people working together for you know to make something happen and I think it's cool to see different groups of people collaborating together whether it's like you're in a drifting or art or whatever kind of combining the two and just making cool stuff yeah. I think it's, it's cool it was kind of a cool like happenstance that you came out and I was like oh we're going to Salt Lake yeah. and you're like oh I'm going to paint this mural on this wall yeah, and, yeah I was willing cool. to roll up because I just didn't want to I was, I was wanting to go see a drift event but oh well that was, yeah but well, there will be plenty more wall. drift events yeah yeah yeah, yeah why do sure. we got to keep bringing that up man I'm Fuck. sorry I'm sorry <laughs> you guys disappointed me man. Like, hey, hey, one, one last thing about scoundrels will always disappoint yeah. <laughs> one last thing about RMR and why they're kind of whack is no ride-alongs yeah, yeah. yeah. that's, that's <laughs> pretty whack yeah, yeah. That is, I mean, honestly, ride-alongs are what what get people into drifting. Like, yeah, that that was what got me into it. How I, else I are rode we in the plant car. The seed? I yeah. rode in the car and I was like, that was insane. There's How do I do that? Seed. You know, because watching it is one thing, but <laughs> and even being at an event spectating is one thing. But when you get in the car, that's a whole other. That's like a yeah. life changing yeah. moment. You know? I mean, here's at what we know me. though: we do know that UMC is trying to get out of their litigation type deal, or the county. Just County trying to get to out of there. Getting sued by that random asshole. But it's right. not going to happen though, because they're either going to, they're going to have to pay up or whatever is going on with that. It's essentially the county's problem though. The uh, track has no danger of being resold or anything like that. It's no. a done deal. It's it's sold. Um, those guys have been working with us great. That's a solid deal. That's been amazing. Uh, RMR is actually uh, the young. The youngs that are running it, you know, they yeah. own all the car lots and everything. RMR is actually going to get shut down in the yep. next year or so. Be- yeah, in the next few years, it's going to be shut down. Yeah, it's because of, it's too sure. closest to houses and stuff like that. And they're actually trying to 
once they figure out the litigation with the county and all this other bullshit that's going on, there's a lot of drama essentially, but from what I understand, uh, Young is going to go out to UMC as well and open the drag strip and the track out at Miller. Miller, we'll always call it Miller. I hate UMC. Yeah. Anyway, so it just sucks that we're... We are moving forward on UMC. We're actually getting to do cooler events. We're getting to do the Tuesday night events with yeah. the, where we're teaching the classes, and that's that's fucking amazing. And um, we are working on some special projects with them. Some super secret top secret super stuff. Super secret awesome. top secret stuff, which is just amazing that we're actually being allowed to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. which is it's the, only taken ten years. Yeah, it's something that I've been I've been banging that drum for quite a while out there. And yeah, and yeah. And I think it's just that everyone realizes that, you know, once uh, FIA came in, really, yeah. and, yeah. and sanctioned it, as a, it's going to be a real thing. I think that, that we are going to be able to, our venue stuff is going to increase a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But as far as RMR goes, I mean, it sucks. We we like to go out there to support the local drift scene. Yeah. We like to do our best with, you know, coming in on that. But it's just like, God, their rules and all their bullshit that it's they very, have in place is... It's super weird. They yeah. should at least allow ride-alongs for caged cars, yeah. not in tandem or something. You know right. There's I mean? a lot like, of things we could change, but yeah. we aren't going to get to change them because of the way they are. They yeah. just don't right. care. Yeah, they're they're don't. grandfathered in with those shitty rules. And that's the way they, they wanted us to have, this like, one, windows. Yeah, oh. yeah it's, the rules are for drifting out of RMR, if you don't know, it's... Windows up, top up if you're a convertible, but windows up regardless, or window nets, or arm restraints, which is... And here's the funny thing. I don't have a fucking top. No, you don't. And what the fuck's a convertible top going to do on a convertible? Exactly. Yeah, true that. I, I don't even have a top. They it's still it's require me to roll my windows up. Yeah. And I'm like, you guys obviously don't really... Like, so, on a Miata, I don't know if any anybody out there watching or anything knows, but on a Miata you have... The window comes up out of the door and it rides along a triangle thing, but other the top part of the glass and the back part of the glass are completely exposed. Right. They're not going to do fucking anything, but they no. they claim it's because people were sticking their arms out of the car. Uh, and yeah. I'm like, well, well it, then out then ban that. But no, I'd stick my out the roof. I, I feel like windows their are hands dangerous. Out of the drivers because they don't allow ride. Yeah, they don't allow ride on. Right. So it's I don't know. it's essentially just a lot of political bullshit. That, it's I feel like having fun. the windows up is dangerous because you it, slam into something. Well, like yeah, that. like all that glass every, is going over. Like if you That's go out to like the NASA event seven. or any other track day out at UMC, mm-hmm. like before you go on track, they it's make it very clear windows down, down, right, yeah, yeah. because right. the, then the glass will shatter in the door card, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but if it's up, it's coming into your face. Exactly. I hit a fence one time with. It's, but, <laughs> it's like drag race rules because I know that's what they do in drag racing. You have to have your windows up. Yeah, right, it's right. like they just applied. They like apply a bunch of shitty drag race rules to us, and it makes no sense. Right, yeah. and a lot of yeah. There's just a lot of shit that goes on out there, which is probably why I mean, really, is, like realistically, we're we're probably not going to support very many RMR events, if any, future forward, just because we've had such bad experiences. And it's not even really like Salt City Drift or anything no. that they're no, doing. It's, it's just the rules that are imposed on us when we're there. Yeah, I remember we went out last year. I was actually co-driving with Brandon Wicknick and. They changed the rules on us halfway through the fucking event. And it's like, why would you do that? Like, yeah. You can't just all of a sudden fucking decide that you want us to have arm restraints because nobody showed up with that shit. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's ridiculous. Like, like don't do that. Yeah, but No sense. They're, and it's funny because, like, the people that they have out there working just seem like they're fucking... They got a little juice and they're going to just squirt it everywhere. And you're like, yeah. god damn, just yeah, chill like, the fuck out. Yeah, there's just some people. It's like you have a little bit of power and... Well, Somebody, I think Mike Kojima said it when he was on an episode of Maximum Driftcast. Is like, the smaller the stakes, the bigger the dick. Oh yeah. God! Yeah, yeah, he was talking about like he would go autocross, and because he was an engineer for TRD or something, everybody would protest every one of his runs. And it was like, this is a weekend autocross. Why? Yeah. Like, you why put the? Yeah, and it's like, how do you walk with a dick that big? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a little cart for it? Like, what's going on? Christ Almighty! You just have someone just following you with a, a with a wheelbarrow, just like, holding your dick. Is it removable? Can you put it in a locker like you're at the airport and then come get it at the end of the day? Like, what's swing going it over on? your shoulder like a Continental soldier. <laughs> what are you hey, gonna do? Yeah, yeah. I know. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. There I we got go. you, dog. Good, good, good quote. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. As far as the future, I mean, like Cam's gonna be out there covering the events because we're not 
we could care less that it's at RMR. It's we like the Salt City Drift dudes, so yeah. we're going to be out there supporting our guys, but yeah. we're not going to be super huge fans of their weird draconian rules or the fact yeah. that the entire infield is nothing but mosquito nests and should be tossed oh, in Agent Jesus Orange. Jesus God, yeah, the mosquitoes were another thing. Holy fuck. <laughs> What's going on out there? I don't get that it. They have that many mosquitoes. I We got destroyed when we were out there. Yeah. like And the media guys? Yeah, it sucks I, for media we guys. We couldn't yeah. keep any media guys out in the middle because well, yeah, there was like, so much shit going on. I remember a couple years ago, uh, Julian Witterden, he found like a little thing of like off 100% deet, and that was the greatest shit ever. Uh, oh, yeah. We're just slavering deet is just that pure, uncut shit. Fun yeah. fact 100% deet, if you rub it on your headlights, it fixes that hazing Ooh, stuff. So Good to know. Yeah. But it's got to be like the the 100% deet. The just pure, uncut. Like, like squirt it on a rag and. Yeah. Whoosh, yeah. Do that shit with toothpaste, too. And yeah, meth. that works pretty good. <laughs> But DEET works better than toothpaste. That's, that's expensive. Yeah. Meth isn't that. really that expensive. I, Have you seen the people smoking it? It's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> Very true. True. Yeah, we don't... <laughs> I thought about it like that. I don't know. We don't... Uh, we, we won't be making time to go out there. Even this event was kind of like... Yeah. We had some stuff, scheduling stuff, and like we're trying to get some product stuff going and whatnot, and this was just a good weekend for us to all meet up um, and and get our stuff going. We're like, oh, this this just happens to be a drift event. Yeah. yeah. But then like, then it got even on that out. we got we got shanked. You know. Yep. It, my car didn't work, which was whatever. But Blaze actually went out to the event and had to come back. Like I mean, I, I probably could have paid a hundred bucks and got a couple runs in, but they shut it down it, pretty quick. Yeah, we got like, there. We got there right as it was. Yeah. It was dumping. And like rain I, and, I had got there like eight eight twenty or something. Yeah. And. It just didn't seem worth it to pay money. Maybe they need to, like, if they're going to have it on pause, they need to do some other fucking way of letting us go and, like, chill with everybody without paying $100. Yeah. Right. To go they, wait in the pits. They were pretty, yeah. That you was know. just, like, a weird situation. They don't, it's because they just don't, it's they very evident. Yeah, they don't care yeah. about what we got going Like, I'm, I asked the guy, I'm like, are you guys going to shut it down? And he's just like, oh, well, if it just keeps sprinkling like this, we won't. Yeah, it was like, yeah, there was a lot of like weird, like non communication happening with the track officials. Like, yeah, you just want that money yeah. with the officials, quote unquote. The people God, wearing the RMR t shirts. The big dick. Yeah. <laughs> but now we, we're going to try and make it out to more like Salt City Drift stuff because I think yeah. the scene up here is growing. And it's cool because, it, I don't know, the Vegas events are really awesome, but the, the scene up here is really cool too. And Yeah, for reiteration, we support. Salt City drifting. We yeah, just, for sure. We yeah. won't support drifting at RMR probably very much anymore. I mean, if we're in town and it just happens to be going on, we'll make it work. But yeah, their rules are just retarded, and the shit they're trying to do is just God. It's like it's, oppressive. It's just <laughs> this is the third event I've came up here where it's rained and they canceled the event. Yeah, like, now, shit, we now can I'm like to... out mo- travel money to just drag my car across the state for no reason. Yeah. For a burnout. For a like burnout. I, I could have just left my car home and come and hung out. Like, yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's just frustrating. Re, yeah, it's just a frustrating type situation. But that's yeah. okay because my car has a license plate on it. There you go. <laughs> that's the important thing right We're gonna now. We're going to go to a car wash after this. Cue the burnout Sorry. video. Woo! <laughs> my car won't. But yeah. No, I think 2018 is going to be fun. We're all just trying to get... Well, these two guys are already there, but like me and Nico are just trying to get get our mobile game on point. He, he needs a trailer. I need a trailer and so that we can all just kind of travel next year and hit all the cool events we want, like all the bashes, no coast, and I don't know. I think I think there's going to be some cool t- team tandem events next year going on that we have we have a lot of opportunities yeah, you know. right now in the pipeline that are starting to work themselves out. Yeah, it's, uh, we it's we, be fun. we increased kind of our, uh, I mean Chase is really the forefront of this, but we increased our social media presence. We mm-hmm. linked up the seven six pages and the scoundrels pages and stuff like yep. that, and we're our online presence is actually becoming quite large, and that's what that's really what we're you know we're excited about is that people know what we're about <laughs> and what we're doing, and if that opens the door for more opportunities for us, that's that's just better. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, because yeah. like, we're going to be doing it regardless. Yeah, yeah. So we might as well share. Might as yeah. well share it, you know. Yeah, might as well. Cause I, I don't know. I love create. I mean, I mean, as much as I love drifting and all that, like I also love, just love creating like cool content, you know, yeah. like. 
And those the videos, videos, videos are what got so us fun. into this in the first place when we yeah, were watching exactly. Option yeah, videos yeah. back in the day. Yep. And we don't have that anymore. No. I mean, you can watch, like... like you can find Option. You can yeah, find like, sure. Option, but it's like not like what it's, it was when we... No. Like, I remember we had to... We bought... David Honey bought a fucking PlayStation... A Japanese worlded PlayStation Two, so you could watch. So the we could so we watch, watch option, option videos. videos yeah. That's cool. At his house, I mean, this shit was. We dude, we were so was, fucking broke back then. This was yeah. such yeah. a big deal. Like we were all drifting eight sixes, all Corollas, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's just like, God, man, we we had such a passion for it, and it's, I I feel like what we're doing now is gonna you know like increase the passion in like the younger generation of what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. we get questions all the time. Like, how, what do I do to drift? Right. How do I drift? How do I get into it? How do you yeah. start? You and know? then you give them advice, and then their hot boy fuck fun friends just, like, tell them, oh, no, no, man, you this need an E36, and then they do that, and then and they then call they... you back for advice, and you're like, <laughs> why didn't you listen to me Do you remember when place? I told you not to buy that? Yeah. And I said, buy one of these cars? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, okay, I'm learning. But when, when we put out... The, the footage of us just having a blast drinking, fucking partying really hard, waking up the next day, drifting all day, fucking rinse, wash, repeat type deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They all of a sudden, like, it's like a light clicks. They see the way we're, the way we're doing our thing, and then they want to be a part of it, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And you're right, like, that's, like, originally what got me into drifting was seeing videos, you know, and it's like, and they were, they were really crappy videos back yeah. then, because it was like, you know, 1994 six or whatever yeah it was like just some dude out there yeah, with just, just like the vhsc yeah, camera just, oh, yeah, just, the big old fucking yeah. thing like yeah just you know like the thing the size of a football he's holding uh, up to his face yeah. yeah and it's it's progressed so much since then i mean drifting and like the video stuff but yeah. i think that's uh that's where a lot of our like attention comes from is we just put out videos and, and yeah, yeah. i think that really really like uh you know grabs people's attentions more so than pictures and all that stuff but yeah well yeah that's Henceforth, why there's a video camera here. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. yeah. Hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. Low in TV but, uh, land. Well, yeah. It's one of those like I can bust my ass and like write an amazing story and take the best yeah. photos ever, but yeah. then just you know like some Vi- dude putting a modicum of effort into yeah. a video that he shot on an iPhone is just going to blow up bigger than anything I've <laughs> yeah. done. Like, That's yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually do shoot a lot with my iPhone. Yes. I use GoPros in my iPhone. I don't have any major equipment actually. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, it's it's fun, man. Yeah. But I'm, I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for how big, like, the team aspect of drifting is getting. Like I, like I said earlier, I think Team Tandem really is, like, the future of drifting. Everybody likes Formula D. I still watch Formula D. Yeah. Those guys are rock star drivers. But, That's at, the, but at the same way time, like... what I would say. <laughs> at, the, <laughs> at the same time, like, seeing two cars, you know, tandeming is sweet. But seeing seven cars tandeming is really, yeah. really cool, too. And seeing seven cars tandeming when you know these are dudes that drive together all the time it's just a different feel and i think people are it's starting passion to, it's like pure yeah, passion yeah. it's like and it's i think people are starting to latch on to that and and uh yeah. you know the team stuff is r- really why me and blaze decided to like link up and do this like team thing originally is because like i like to drive with my friends that i work on cars with yeah and and, like, and it's and a lot easier on my car it's a lot easier when like it's it's hard to do everything by yourself when you're like prepping a car getting everything ready mounting tires going to the event driving and then doing all of your pit crew stuff if you have like five or six dudes that are just about it and uh you know are willing to help you out when they're not driving or even if they're driving it just makes everything easier you know like yeah i don't know how to explain it we just couldn't we, do it we couldn't we, do we it without the yeah. support people that we have we I mean, wouldn't be able to do it without yeah. all you of gotta us. realize we have a we have a two-car team right now, an active two-car team. That's what we have. Yep, these two guys. And we have... We bring five to ten dudes to every event. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that is, that is like, such a godsend because we we can... We have our footage taken care of. We have our, like, my fucking girlfriend makes me a sandwich. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all of that aspect that brings it in to make it so much easier on us. Yeah. I mean, and that and that's what we're trying to bring about in, like, the videos is, like, I'm saying, yeah. like... Yeah. We uh, here's a call out NVG. We're gonna call them out real quick. Um, we made posts. I, I don't remember. I think it was right when we came back from Bash. It was yeah. We lit we lit everybody up a little bit because they were always talking about like just shit that wasn't relevant to drifting. You guys want to drive? Fucking drive. And here's yeah. how you do it. 
because you know, here's how we do it and it works great try this but we got met with so much resistance <laughs> it's like okay well, fine you know I mean, what everybody's gonna do what, do what they want you yeah. know they gotta go through the, the growing period or whatever yeah there's so that. much potential in that group yeah, oh, yeah. they have some they have some great but there's so much conflict and and yeah. nobody wants to like step it up and make it happen yeah like love the NVG dudes we all can't indiv- yeah, yeah. Can't. individually, yeah. I have no problems with any of those guys individually. No, yeah. they're all awesome as a group. Dudes. They're a bunch. It's just a fuckwit like yeah. c- conglomerate of bullshit that just kind of comes in. There's those big words we were talking about. <laughs> yeah, it just comes in and it's just like a fuck mess. There's so much potential there, but it's like they're they're kind of sort of hyping. It seems like they're hyping themselves up on the wrong things. You need to hype yourselves up on like being constructive and, and driving more. Well, that was a big thing. Like with, it, they need to focus on helping each other more. That's what yeah. I was gonna say. The, that's the, what it, the that's big thing is like being, being. If you guys are a team, you being guys constructive need to help each other. and like like when I'm not driving, like I, I do whatever I can for all know, of our all media. Of, yeah, like fucking helping us well, well, like, stuff. And if Chase you know? is driving, I'll fill in that spot. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's even if it's we're working all together driving, to we'll achieve still a common go goal. Figure shit out. Like even at Medford. I was over helping take luck. Like, I helped Brandon knock a quarter panel back out. and it, Even though it doesn't seem like a whole hell of a lot, it is a lot, you know? Yeah. Even down to the point of where, like, Brandon had a cooler of water, and we took a couple waters out of, like, their cooler or whatever, and I gave him 20 bucks. And I was like, listen, I just appreciate you doing what you're doing. Here's 20 bucks. Like, that's great. You know, even when it comes down to stuff like that. And it, it's kind of cool because it forces you to like put your ego aside because there's not really any room for all that shit when you're in like in the moment in an event like there's, there's so much stuff to do ego, and you team. can't be like the the big guy that's like oh I know what I'm talking about and da 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 like you know what I mean it's we all just, want the same finish you know like, yeah. We're, yeah we're all after the same goals here tuna sandwiches and honestly like like, what, like one success is all of our success like your success is my success and your success yeah. and his success is our success you know what I mean so it's I don't know. Yeah, it's to just the point different. where we're like not e- we've got an artist that doesn't yeah. even drive. Yeah, that we like reach out to and we kind of mm-hmm. build off of each other. I mean, that's really what it all boils down to. Yeah, but we have a lot of fun supporting each other. Yeah, each other as much as everybody else. You yeah. know. Yeah. It just that's... sucks. It's like we're seeing our kids just like totally disobey us. It's, it's insane. <laughs> you just gotta let them go through their rebellious period. Man. I guess, man, but like, the, the disappointment won't Because like, yeah, you can either clamp down on them and then just this like, is, have a is, bunch of rebellious, awful people. This is why Barnes' nickname is the stepdad. Yes. <laughs> Stucky <laughs> stepdad. Slash twinkle toes. It is yeah. Stucky <laughs> stepdad. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. man. But yeah, I don't know. I'm excited for the team stuff. I think there's going to be like a lot of team stuff going on next year and I think we're going to see like more and more teams pop up you know because yeah. I think people are really starting to enjoy it just, it just adds another aspect to it and it's fun it's it's more fun when you're with yeah, you know it. your crew of seven dudes that you're you know super crew. tight with <laughs> or whatever well the cool thing like the cool thing about the scoundrels is like we're like a group of dudes that <laughs> nobody else wanted yeah. yeah. So we just kind of formed our own shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, so now I'm gonna cry because that touched me right. right there. <laughs> yeah. You were useless garbage, and then you all found each other. Yeah. They so. pulled me out of retirement. Yes, they, they did. did. They took old man Barnes and fucking threw him right back in a car. Said you're not pulled, done yet. They Barnes fit right dead. in though. He did. Pulled stepdad off the bench. They did. They pulled <laughs> stepdad off the bench. Someone had to teach him how to drink. <laughs> Cook sandwiches on a barbecue. Well, yeah. Shut up, Nico. <laughs> Chase can't hit a t ball very good, so we had to get balls nope. off the bench. Yep. Yep. It's like the Come bench. here, Sean. My hand eye coordination. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta lock your fingers together. <laughs> One tarnation. <laughs> it's not as wholesome as that. It's more like bad news bears. <laughs> just drunk ass Walter Matha, just yeah. wandering around. My stepson like Nick Stucky, cars. like Nick Sticky, yeah, Stucky. Stinky. I call him Nick, Stinky. Nick Stinky? Yeah. I love that guy. Shout but out he's to such him. a yeah. sweet boy. Um, you know, he disappoints me a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? But I still love him. Why does he disappoint me? He put an NA2J in the S13. That That's was not pretty, disappointing. That was pretty cool, but it's his whack cool. sure it's not a BMW car engine. It sounds just like a BMW. <laughs> it does sound yeah. just like it sounds cool, though. <laughs> And I just, uh, I'm pretty sure Brandon Wicknick put the 2J in that car. Well, Nick, I don't know. put a 2J in anything. Yeah, yeah. Leave him alone long enough. I think I 
Nick uh, Nick contracted Mr. Wicknick to put the motor in, mm -hmm. which was a good move on his part. For sure. And then secondly, he's just a disappointment because his fitment in the back is whack. <laughs> <laughs> so, if he would stop crashing his car into so his front, someone needs to buy that man some spacers or something. <laughs> no, it's cool Stuck because have uh, some spacers for you if you me need. Me and them, his bro. mom actually Two kicked inch him out. Spacers. Uh, yeah, I've got some fat spacers if you need. Yeah, we. Uh, I have we some small ones too. Got them for room we got spacers. Some fat spacers. Oh yeah, Dude, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. We uh, kicked Nick out of the house, and now he's on his own, and he's gonna have to grow up now. You kicked him out of a house? Yeah, me and his mom did. Stepped out. Oh, no. step right, in. Okay. Kind of like how that. me and your mom that. kicked you out of the house. Yeah, that was. <laughs> this. We don't need to talk about that. So <laughs> I'll get heated. You want? Remember what happened last time, Dad? Being the stepdad wow. is being the stepdad. <laughs> I was about to say, was it a stepdad situation, or is that just a dude that mom's dating right now? <laughs> No, it's always a stepdad situation because I always have to walk out and be like, "Come here, boy. <laughs> let, me, let me teach you how to hold a wiener." <laughs> and then as they like walk away, he said, "I just, just want to love you." Yeah, I yeah. tell him that all the time. <laughs> You're not even my real dad. I don't care. Fucking your mom right now, so that makes me something. Oh. Uh, he'll learn eventually. What? A There's a lot of beer cans here. Yes, there yeah. are. It's you been, only had uh, one. Yeah, I did. You're a sweet boy. I only needed the one. Oh, Jesus. There's only like one. Well, no, I just needed the one for a point to say. So, a little look behind the, the camera here, a little behind the scenes, a little housekeeping. Uh, when I crack a beer on the podcast, it's because I need a loud point to which to sync up the audio on the video to the podcast audio. Makes so, sense. There you go. Yeah. So instead of wow. you know clapping, instead of a yeah. clapper, yeah, yeah. So you got the beard. Click, click. Yeah, or instead of like clapping, like what Gavin does when he's trying to sync audio and video, I just we're sitting in my basement. I have kind of sounds like a bitch move sounds, to me, but whatever. Good. Hey man, hey, but let's put this out there. I did not drink his beer. He did drink the whole beer. Yeah, like yeah. I. Every beer that has been presented to me in my life, I've drank the whole damn thing. Uh, can and we for the record? Nico? For the record, we are drinking Coors Light. Coors yeah, shout, out, shout out to okay, Coors one. again. Oh, yeah. there you go. Coors one Brewing one Company. Mr. Potts, I would appreciate one as well. Grab me one, too. There's only two left. They're all fucked. Woof. Dang. There's not two left. You shut your mouth. Is it? There's more? I think she's right. <laughs> I've bought... That means we've gone through a hundred beers in two days. <laughs> Oof. Hey, Coors Light. You know, Coors Brewing Company in Golden, Colorado. Yeah. I drive by your plant all the time. Yeah. You could, you know. You could hook hey. these dudes up. In with case you were we wondering, Chase is our plug man. Yeah. <laughs> he just kind of. <laughs> in two days. No, Chase one, one day, dude. really. He's the, I mean. He's, he's the, the plug man. man. In the street. He's the one getting out there getting the I'm just hammering beers. Coors because I think it would be cool to have some beer stuff on well, the side of some drift cars. I well, mean, NASCAR's well, got Budweiser and Bud Light. Who well, drinks uh, Bud Light? Bud Light sucks. I'm I sorry, mean, Bud Light, but the it's, people at the infield like of the NASCAR tracks yeah. drink okay, Bud Light. Well, why are you so uh, nice? Why, why would you say Bud Light sucks? I'm sorry, Bud Light. Why don't you just say <laughs> I'm being real. Bud Light sorry, sucks. Well, fuck suck. you. Because he's trying to keep your options open for beer sponsorship. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like, that's it. what yeah, it is. We gotta keep those yeah, open. So, that. I mean, you may not like Bud Light, but you get a few cases for free. Why? Yeah. Up at the shop. Why? But, but why no, fuck Bud Light. Pop? Coors Light is Wait, where what? it's at. What? Why can't we get sponsored by Soda Pop? No. Soda Pop? <laughs> Alright, right. yo, you, Dr. Pepper. Nico? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Wait, is that the last one? I'll share it with you. Okay, oh, that's fine. It's getting into me. You get guys. first drink, though, buddy. Get a, put a couple straws Wasn't in there. Wasn't there more in the freezer? I got to pee again. Oh, I, didn't I put the Yeah, I put some in the freezer. Oh. Uh, Pooch. Pupper. This is Opie. This is S-M-O-L doggo. Uh. Small doggo. <laughs> shop dog. Shop dog, Opie. Oh. He's, He's a shop dog. Because you got to remember, Tina's a shop dog, too. Well, all shop dogs are white. What about that white. little Rottweiler? That was a cute little teddy bear. That thing was fucking neat. Rottweilers <laughs> are cute. Yes, they are. His name's O-P, O-P-I-E. Not O-P, like not O-P. OP. Yeah. Like, you're O-P. Go to O-P. I love O-P. Hey, I'll be here for you. Ooh. What do you want? Important, important text messages. Oh, snap. Hey, Barnes, fuck you. <laughs> Thanks, dog. <laughs> Damn. You suck. They're like, <laughs> we're... We're up on this snow with the podcast right now. We're we're doing something I don't know important. Yeah, we tried to. Whatever. That's why we invited you. 
I appreciate that. It's a pretty cool fucking thing to be in in the old Cam Automag podcast slash maybe a you know. Yeah, there's gonna be a video. Maybe an article. Yeah, there'll be something. Maybe yeah. like some cool things happen. I mean, you're grossly understanding what it is I do. Uh, <laughs> we think you're great. We love your shit. <laughs> Good. It's really nice knowing like what goes on around here, motorsports-wise, and you guys are on the front side of all of that, which is really neat. Yeah, we try to be, you know. We try to not piss off too many people. But well, the whole thing is, is, like, we just... There is no more beer. There's no more... Okay, cut Boris, the podcast. where are you at? <laughs> Did you just say Barnes, where are you at? It's a course. Yeah, Coors. Coors. We need delivery. Yeah. Coors. We need more beer. We Listen to Jax. All the yeah. shameless plugs. Oh, it's yeah. not even a shameless plug. It's just where's the we beer? We do drink a lot of Coors, though. It would be pretty awesome if know, they were I'm like, hey, you guys want to put Coors shit on your block, race cars? Man. What? Yeah. Get the fuck out. Yeah. We're Go. Sorry, man. What'd sorry. you say? Remember when we said we supported art? Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, all that's retracted. Well, before they kick you out, it's fun. Yeah, we'll plug your social media. Yeah. Where can people find you? Yeah. I don't um, really like Coors. It kind of tastes like water. I'm just going to throw <laughs> that out Shut up, there. Blaze. Nobody cares. Damn. <laughs> oh. I like real beer. And that's how the scoundrels ended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, 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 will drink, I will drink I will drink the water beer. <laughs> the last. <laughs> he drinks Nick Stuckey beer. I like to drink Nick Stuckey beer, you know, something a little bit more hoppy. I get like six of them in me and I black the fuck out. Yep, this is like, true. Like, this is like, true. Blackout. So drunk that we couldn't get him out of the truck. He wouldn't move. <laughs> he couldn't. Move. He he spent most of the night in the back of his truck, puking no, on a pillow. It was it was in the cab. It was, yeah, yes. you're right. Oh wait, the, cab. Uh, the back, back of the seat. cab of the back his seat truck. Of the truck. There we go. Which is only so big. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty small. It's just so, a little uh, an extender cab. cab. Yep. <laughs> That's a funny story, actually. I woke up at like three in the morning. <laughs> uh, okay, go ahead. wait, hang on. Let's let me, let <laughs> let's tell the, the beginning of the story, and then you'll get you can get to your part. All right. Well, when okay. I went when I drove out to Medford, I I worked Medford. worked a full day, and then I I pounded a fuck ton of Red Bulls and pre workout. <laughs> oh, I don't like a motherfucker. <laughs> and uh, we drove all the way to Medford, Oregon. I don't know if pre- you guys have been there, but it's pre- a quality place. Fucking pre-workout. If you want to see, if you want to see a whole city that just has trailers, yeah, on you- on like a whole acre lot with just shitty cars in their whole fucking yard, go to Methford, Oregon. Methford. Yeah. But they also have racing gas at the pump, which is cool. And very cheap. Yeah, but yeah, what's actually. not cool is you can't pump your own gas in Oregon. But you can't pump I your own gas. Didn't know that. Until but I you went. can yep. pump your own farm diesel. Yep. So, there we go. And they will let you put farm diesel in your diesel. If you pay them If you talk to them. Yeah, you give them a fiver. In Medford. Anyway. At the Chevron. So after driving... Right on the corner of... (laughs) (laughs) So after driving 30 hours, I, uh... It was 14. Well, after being awake for 30 hours (laughs) and driving 13... Not the same. I, uh... Drank a lot of beer. I drank as many beers as possible. All the beers... That motherfucker had beers in his hand somehow. You th- I mean, I remember dude, he was <laughs> fucking lit. We <laughs> rolled up to the goddamn track, and I'm like, who the fuck sent Blaze off? Because he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking so much shit. We had so him funny. talking shit, and then we had Jake Passamato fucking oh, show dude, up. He kid, was talking shit. Oh my Blaze God. and Jake were like, I'm going to get in a fight with him. Like, <laughs> Blaze, sit down. You couldn't even walk five feet if you He was wanted. throwing your rays around when we were taking oh, the truck. Jesus. Like, oh, those expensive wheels. He's like, I don't care. Yeah, he <laughs> He's <laughs> like, oh my God, God damn it. For the record, I don't remember any of that. That's perfect. He was fucking blacked out shit house guy. And so oh, we're man. all like, oh dude, we were we were fucking We went back so to the we, hotel. No, no, wait up. We called okay. we called ahead. These guys, the Medford Cruise guys were so fucking cool. They gave us a pit next. Like we were like, yeah, we're gonna be us- with Take Luck. They gave us a whole pit, dude. Like a yep. giant they packed down like Concrete, not con- like base, base. Yeah, yeah. It's they like, like made, they like made a pit area. They for tried us. to do real good for us because we awesome. had to sit outside because Brandon has the semi, and so we're out there in this whatever whole spot. they created was better than inside. Honestly, like, oh yeah, yeah we had a nice little spot outside of the gate. It was super cool, and they really did us a solid with that. We uh, we fucking show up. 
<laughs> Blaze is fucking just drunk off his ass, right? I and got there so, a little early. <laughs> yeah, we did get there early. So we get there, and then it's like all the take look dudes, all of the scoundrel dudes, we all want to go get food. It's like herding cats into a fucking bathtub. <laughs> yep. So we all go. We fucking are all in two trucks. I had... I have a fucking crew cab F-350, and we had, what, eight dudes in that truck? Yeah, something Oh, like that. easy. And then they had all the scoundrels in the in a fucking barely extended cab Cummins. Yep. I mean, it's a, what, 94 Cummins? 93? 95. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he doesn't even have the third door. It's nope, just it's like just everyone there. cram in. Yeah. And I was driving because Blaze was so drunk. And, dude, so the drunk. fucking roads in Methford were so dicked. Like, we were driving, and They're we... like one-way roads. They had yeah. construction, so you couldn't cut the road that you needed to to get to the place that we were going. Yeah, like you had to... You it was like loop, 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 loop. So we were fucking breaking all the rules on the street. <laughs> we were being total douchecock. It was mostly me because I was leading. And we were just <laughs> driving all over the place. We finally get to the fucking place, like the Denny's because it's the only thing open. Yep. All, what, 13 or 14 yeah, of us? We were, we were and so we get out. out and Blaze is just like out. He won't move. He's done. I tried to talk to him. He was like, hey, we're going to go get some food. You want anything? Like, no. no. I, can't, I can't move, dude. I can't like, move. <laughs> Which okay. we were like, whatever. He's move. probably a little drunk. No big deal. We go in and eat. I take all the guys back to the track. I come back to the hotel, in which the scoundrel dudes promptly respond to me. We've been trying to get Blaze out of the truck for like 20 minutes. And I'm like, we're trying to get him in the room. trying to get him out. <laughs> And they're like, we can't get him out. He won't move. He can't move. <laughs> We're like, what? what do you mean he can't move? You go back there and look at him, and he's just like, oh, you're like, oh, fuck, whatever. Yeah. He had thrown up in a pillow, which had all the fucking Bobby shit in it. Shout out to Matt. I owe you a pillow. Oh, damn. So it was just a rowdy fucking event. And so eventually... He These probably, guys all walk out with blankets and shit from the so room. So they all ditch me. No, we didn't ditch him. We super ditched him. Super <laughs> ditched him. Are you we brought in. him. Drunk, okay? Soldier left behind. We weren't going to take him. He was safe. He was, they, yeah, he was good. They, they cracked, cracked the windows for me. Which we was did. Nice. I, well, and, I, and I left you a note with the room key. Which I didn't, room I didn't see in? the note. I woke up. The note? I woke up, Kay. It's like 3 in the morning. <laughs> oh, God. This is the best part. I get out of the truck. And I'm in like a panic. I don't even know where the fuck I am. I... I first thing I do is like look for my truck keys. Don't have my keys. I pull my phone out of my pocket. Black screen. It's dead as fuck. <laughs> None of my friends are around. <laughs> we, we were super I'm, I'm lost. I have no idea where I am. You know. And for whatever reason, I shut the door and it locks. So now I'm locked out of my truck at three in the morning in a hotel. Still don't know where I am. I look directly to the left of me, and there's just like four tweakers hanging out in a car. <laughs> For whatever reason, they're hanging out in a hotel parking lot in their car, chilling. And, like, the window's cracked because they left me in the truck like a sick puppy. <laughs> and uh, He was done, dude. So I'm, like, standing on my little, like, foot rail, like, trying to shove my arm down the crack to get, the wind, like, the door unlocked. And this tweaker chick jumps out of the car. And she's like, I can do that for you. <laughs> and I'm like, whatever. I'm still, like, trying to figure out where the fuck I am. I'm in a blur state of mind. <laughs> So she shoves her arm through my window and unlocks the truck for me. And her little, like, friend's like, you gotta give her, like, 20 bucks. That's cheaper than a tow truck. <laughs> so Whoa. I don't wish I was awake for that. <laughs> I know. This is the best. So I pull, out, I pull out, like, five bucks and give it to her. I'm just like, whatever. I don't care. So I get back in the truck, and I'm still trying to figure out where the hell I am. And that's when I see the note. And it's like, hey, buddy, we're in room 253 or some shit. And here's your room key. And I just grab it and go inside. He comes in the room and like. As soon as I get in the room, I'm like, "Fuck that tweaker chick could probably get back in my truck." <laughs> Didn't care. Laid down, went right to bed. After he busted in. Yeah, I bust in. They're all passed out. I turn the light on. I'm like, "Fuck you guys." Yeah, I remember like I remember waking up and just seeing you in the doorway and like, "Fuck you guys." <laughs> Here's the best part of all that. Is that they were four dudes in a two bedroom room? Yeah, yeah me and Bobby cuddled all night. And so oh, I wake up and I go in to make sure everyone's cool and open their door, and it's just like dude stew. Man. <laughs> it's like hot breath and nasty shit going on. I was like, God damn it, dude. That's right. our that's our Methford oh, story, man. though. So yeah. I wake up late. <laughs> we're supposed to be at the track at like 8 o'clock or something. And I Which woke was up. because none of us. I had driven 14 hours the night yeah, before. I, I was out, dude. 
So we all wake up at like 10 or 11 or something and eventually get to the track. I'm like sipping on a Gatorade. I can't eat <laughs> anything. I feel like absolute <laughs> ass, dude. And then I'm like, hey, let's go tandem. Yeah. yeah. So for half of that first day, I'm Blaze just shaky on <laughs> And my car's fucking power or non power steering yeah. at that specific event. I was running a manual rack. Yeah. So I'm sitting there trying to muscle my fucking car around and I I'm seriously like shaking this fucking bad. <laughs> I'm driving back to the pits like taking little tiny bites off of a rice crispy tree, trying to like get <laughs> something in my system. <laughs> Finally I got up enough gall to eat one of their uh, cheeseburgers they have over there. Real good cheese. Well, it's actually real Shout good, out yeah. to the cheeseburgers at that place. They were good. Yeah. <laughs> Pause. You must, have, you must have said I can't move to me like seven times that night though when we were trying to get we didn't you out of the truck. It. It's like I can't move, dude. I, I just was, can't move. I, I was front flipping. <laughs> the whole fucking the, the earth was spinning. Oh, man. Believe it or not. Yep. And that has been drunk adventures with scoundrels. Yep. <laughs> but now your podcast is it like. An hour and a half. Yeah, there we go. That, that works. That works. That's fine. What do we do so, to finish this bitch off? Well, I so I say thank you for joining us on this episode. Don't do think. We, us. Do we need to like plug our social media? And yeah, all I was that about. Joke? I was about to get to that too. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I like maybe, to jump the gun. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. maybe just call because I drive an RX-7. Just keep in your like... pants for two seconds. Let me do my <sighs> thing, right, and then we'll throw it to you. You do not have an RX-7. I don't. No, you have an RX-7. You got a fucking not operating. Yeah. yeah. Non-operating Fox body. <laughs> that. You can follow... I'll turn it on. 7-6 The Shop. <laughs> you can follow at me. At 7-6 Racing. Whoa. On Instagram. That's really all we care about. You can follow me not building Chase's car. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Team Scoundrels. Yep. Team, well, so we have Instagram. It's at Team Scoundrels. There's not a lot on there. I need to post some more stuff. Yeah, get on that. But Chase basically, like follow you. our follow our personal accounts because there's way more cool stuff. Mine is FC Pilot, like fighter pilot, but with FC. Except FC for Pilot. Gay dick Pilot. <laughs> You're a gay dick pilot. <laughs> follow him. His Instagram is at Gay Dick Pilot. That's the one. I don't know. Oh man, it's gonna be easier for like if you see any of my shit on either on Chase's stuff or on Seven Six. Just look for my tag because you guys are not going to spell it right. And you're going to be just forever like, where the fuck is he? All right, so if you see any art on our stuff, it's probably yeah, Esteban. Yeah, that's my shit. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll find it and link it for yeah, you. Yeah, thank so, you so much. No problem. Nico's is like, what is yours? Dick Wad 5000? <laughs> Flow Team Nico. Nico Wallace uh, 13. R- Rib Destroyer. <laughs> 13. Rib Destroyer. That's <laughs> spam. Yeah. And then Facebook.com slash Team Scoundrels. Yes. And you, can follow. you can find us. We're pretty easy to find. Yeah, they're out there. Just look for the giant clouds of smoke. Yep, giant clouds of smoke and a tra- trail of empty Coors Light cans. <laughs> that's it. yeah. Good. That's pretty much that's pretty it. Pretty much it. Yeah. And then you can follow Cam on our social media: Twitter, and Instagram at Cam Automag, Facebook.com slash Cam Automag, and CamAutomag.com for all sorts of stuff. And YouTube, we're on. Yeah. Just search Cam Automag. You'll see our bullshit up there too. So, yeah. Uh, until the actual campcast episode, this has been Mike with these Sunday Fun Day. It's yeah, Sunday there we go. Shop. Exactly. Let's go do some burnouts. Let's go do some other nefarious shit. <laughs> <laughs>